Um, this isn't an amazing map. Editing Max here, and as you can see, this is nowhere near the three mark game. But this is a very good game we had in the one to one B. I think it was the session before I three marked it, but I wanted to showcase it in this video because it shows exactly what the one to one B can do. Second game will be the three mark game as per always. So we are on safe haven. Um, I'm platoon with Tom, but he's not on Discord. So if you hear me talking to someone, he was watching the stream. So I was just kind of communicating with him like that, but he couldn't be on Discord. Also, this game takes place um, during, I think it was after the Waffentrager event. So that's why you can see a WT Alpha E100. And also during the Grom Mission Marathon, so I think at one point I complained about teams or how tough it is during the Mission Marathon, and that is what I'm talking about. But anyway, we're heading down um, towards the south. Tom is actually coming with me, even though he's in a heavy. Going to try and use our view range, um, extensive view range. There are a couple of lights on each team, so I do just need to be careful. But I feel like we can have a strong impact, especially with Tom there to support us. I would assume I'm spotted. Thank you, thank you. Alright, we'll just make sure we stay out of render from the WT. Because that could get a little spicy, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, as far as it could have been, considering the marathon. Yeah, mum. You know where it, what it's, what, what's going on. <laughs> marathon teams are always interesting. This can only go well, right? Hello? Hello, darling. You know I have 350 heat pen, right? It's really fun because your your superstructure is not that much. You missed! Ha 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 I like the fact the EBR's gone. Wait, I'm supposed to be the one spotting. Oh. Ah, Manti. Okay, goodbye. Thank you. I mean, if he could die, that'd be great. Game's been trolling me recently. Where's the SCRV? Do you reckon he's like in that bush up there somewhere? Okay, no, I, I've changed my mind. I reckon he's in that bush there. Okay, maybe a little further back. What we'll do is we we'll shoot this 268, use that to try and bait the TVP round, or the 50B or something. Yeah, yeah, go on, go on, go on. Push him, push him, push him. The balls. Oh, that's annoying. The STRV is in a really annoying position. We've also lost the other side, which is interesting. Ooh, okay. Coming, Mr. Tom. I'm coming.
He's up there somewhere. I've got to make sure if that is... Shit. Oh! He stopped. Nice. Nice! Huge. Also huge. <laughs> I can't help him anymore. Track him. Oh god, there's a BZ. Thank you. Track him. You got him, Tom? Nice. Good shit, good shit. Nice, really good shit. Had enough of this STRV. There he is. <clears throat> As if this guy's still full HP. Shit! Oh, badness is occurring. <sighs> if the TVP wouldn't have come for me then. I really didn't think the t like bear in mind the TVP was there. The TVP was up here when I pushed across. I was like, yeah, there ain't no way he's coming back. And my STRV was just about to get up. I'm shocked that he managed to get off the hill and then come straight towards me. I'm annoyed though, chat, because yeah. Because if I'd have known the TVP was going to come from this direction, I would have stayed here, fought the TVP, and then tried to bait. Because I know the TVP couldn't kill me in a single clip. So I could have just played against the TVP whilst baiting the 277 around this. Not too shabby, though. Not too shabby. That was a good game. Just had some time away from the game for the weekend. And would say doing great on the fact that we were at 94.7. And I've just absolutely biffed it.
back down to 93 and a half. So we're now trying to build back up again. So jumping forward in time chat, we've gone up about 20% of the mark. Our beard's got longer and we've got a different t-shirt on. We're also on highway, a good map, but I do need to think about it. The 121B, you do really have to think about where you're going on the map. It's very limited on gun depression. So for me, going into towns and things like that where the ground is flat is usually better than going traditionally where mediums go because usually that requires gun depression. Also, this tank having 350 heat pen and pretty good DPM means you can make some nice effective trades in the town as long as you don't lose too much of your HP or expose yourself too much. Peek to see if we can hit this EBR because he's going to be an issue. Not going to peek again though. Not going to peek it again. Alright, we'll move into the town. Don't see permatrack so much anymore because, like, people have got, you know, hardening stuff like that. It just makes makes permatracking so much harder these days. Um... Oh shit! Sorry, 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 sorry. He's repaired. Let me just connect. Uh. I want to kill him, but at the same time, I don't really want to take a shot for it. 60 fired. E4 fired. E fired. Nice, okay. Focus the 60. Again, same situation here. Okay, nice. e is not looking. Thank, thank, thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Swear to fuck, swear to God, man! Fucking idiot! Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy! <sighs> Fucking asshole, man. Died. Uh, the E4 fired not that long ago. Oh my god. I was gonna say I can't do now here. I'm just getting constantly blocked by the team. question is, is, do we go? Do we be the one to try and spot? Which probably will give us the mark. But we might die. Now what I'm talking about here with that gamble, if we zoom in on the map, you can see that we've obviously won town, but the enemy team are set up ready for us to push out. Obviously, you need somebody to spot, and looking at the composition of our team, I'm probably the best one for the job, 420 meters base view range. The risk is, if you push and nobody shoots, 
you don't get any spotting. If you push and the enemy team are ready for it and they all hit you and you die before spotting anything, you do nothing. But the reward is if you can spot two or three enemy tanks, you're going to get full spotting on them because your team is aimed up and ready to shoot. So it is a big gamble. Okay, I think we risk it. Kill, thank you. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh, I see why. Thank you. Hmm. Could have gone worse. Cool, gun depression. Now, really, really should have aimed that arty, uh, that shell against arty. Where do we think he is? Do we think he's up here at the back, or do we think he's gone north? I'm going to wait for these guys to get up, because as long as I spot him, if he kills me, it's fine. If I was pinging. That's not enough. It's all good. It's all good. Go on. Slap him again. He's... Okay. Nice. Not too shabby. Got a bit awkward in the middle, but not too shabby. Nice. 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 Good shit. I think you deserve a drink after that. Mm. Yeah. Should have been cleaner, but Mark is Mark. Also, field mods. What was the session? Yeah, it's not amazing. 3.6. Got quite a lot of average assisted. Would have liked that to have been 4K, but it's not too bad. So, moving on to the ratings, and firstly, overall tank rating, I've gone for a 4 out of 5 in the 121B. To be honest, this might surprise a couple of you that I haven't gone for a 5, but in my opinion, the 5 degrees of gun depression lets it down to the point that it knocks a rating off. Like, it makes the tank so inflexible. You have so many great things about the tank. The mobility is pretty good. The gun is really, really nice. Obviously, with that 350 heat pen, is absolutely sweet. But being so inflexible with the 5 degrees of gun depression really does let it down and really does make it slightly inflexible. Well, very inflexible. And makes a lot of maps very difficult to play. Honestly, if this tank had the 7 degrees that the 140 gets, I would probably say it would be a 5. But as it is a 4 overall. Now, for ease of marking, I've gone for a 4 out of 5. Again, it wasn't too bad. Like, for a tier 10, it honestly wasn't too bad, um, especially it not being a tech tree tier 10. The tank being so good, with the exception of the gun depression, did make it quite quite easy. Not too bad. Uh, you have your moments, but you have your moments on all tanks. That's why it's not a 5, because, you know, it wasn't a walk in the park. But... Overall, not too bad. And then also for my marking experience, I have gone for a four out of five. So fours across the board. Yeah, kind of combining the two. 
it was good. It was good fun. I had some pretty high damage sessions. You can get a little frustrated, like I said before, with the gun depression. Also because it is a tier 10 and sometimes you just get either the turbo games or you get slapped by like an FV, something like that. It can be a little frustrating, especially as well as even if you have like for what a lot of people would be an average game like a 2k game when you're up above 90 percent that drops the mark so much so it can be a bit disheartening but overall honestly one to one b would recommend very fun tank really good not too bad to mark either so i'm very happy anyway outside of that thank you all so much for watching guys if you did like the video please consider subscribing give the video a like as well and outside of that thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you next time little bit of bonus footage at the end. Hello? Yes, can I help you? Are you okay? Are you okay? I found something, chat. I found him. Who's this? What's that? What's that? What's that? <laughs> What's this? <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Oi! Oi! What you doing? Somebody turn the engine on, chat. <laughs>